Hey, what's up guys? It's Lunara Ara here again today, and today I'm going to be taking a look at the official game overview trailer for Asuka, which I think is a Viking lady video game, judging by the thumbnail. Uh, I don't know much about this. We're going to find out if this is a, a Viking lady and uh, what, 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 what Asuka is all about. So let's go ahead and watch the trailer. Here we go. Asuka is a Viking... I was right! It's a Viking game! Asuka is a Viking colony management and survival game. 1 to 4 co-op, okay. Early access, June 20th, okay. Interesting. This is coming out soon, then. Dude, this is gorgeous! Whoa. Okay. Dude, I, I haven't heard about Asuka at all, but goddamn, I love everything about it so far. I love the animals. In the unforgiving oh, land. Oh, dude. Oh, shit. Those people are like tree people. Like, they're people that have been consumed by trees. Of Asuka, you'll... I think, maybe? I don't know. I can't tell. They're like people, but also trees. Whoa, dude. This is cool. I love I love this little thing. I don't it's like a it's like a goat. It's like a bunny. I don't know what it is. I love it. In the unforgiving Dude, land this is so Asuka. badass. Also the mobs look really cool. Like look at these things. These tree people things. They're cool. But also I wanna go back here a second. Let's look at um this guy. I bet this isn't just a statue. He might come to life. Also, there's like a dude here and a dude here. It's kind of hard to see, but they're moving. In the unforgiving land. Also, that's a giant sword. Of Aska, you'll struggle to survive without the help. Bro, of this is so cool. I love the uh, the buildings. They look good. Meeting your basic needs is essential. Foraging keeps hunger and thirst at bay. And so okay, so it's like a survival game. Surviving the night might be possible by building a simple camp. But this won't okay. be enough to protect you from the dangers lurking in these lands. Oh shit, giant bear! Giant bear thing. Also, this is reminding me of like Valheim, honestly. From the dangers lurking in these lands. Dude, that bear's got like plants growing out of his back. He's got like grass on his back and stuff. After being shipwrecked on this mysterious shore, it's up to you to reunite your lost tribe and carve out a new home. Dude, this looks the really good. Blessed you with the eye of Odin, a beacon powered by Jotun blood. That okay. Um. So this, from what I gather, this is kind of like Valheim and that other game that recently came out. I had to look at my. <laughs> this is kind of embarrassing to say, but I forgot the name of the game. Um. But I looked it up on my Steam games list. It's uh, Enshrouded. So it kind of seems like it's like a mix of Enshrouded and Valheim. Out to other Vikings. Aska is the survival game where you're never alone. You decide who joins your tribe. It definitely looks like it's less voxel based, though, for sure. Villagers are here to support. It looks like it's got more of a like um. Getting your hands dirty. It it has more of like um. What would what would this building system be like? Trying to think of a game to compare the forest, kind of, Ki kind of. The soil, or in the throes of battle, your tribe will assist you. I like this though. Feel free to explore. Really cool. Oh, Skelly. Tends to the village, or stay within the safety of the community. Well, I'm definitely checking this game out. And, and they're showing the gameplay. It doesn't look too bad. Primitive yeah, the gameplay looks pretty good. Shelter for a few members of your tribe, but just like yourself. Your villagers have other needs. If you don't make sure they're fed, warm, oh, shit. and safe, they will abandon the tribe. No! Or perish. Okay, so we actually have to actively, like, feed and, and house these guys. Alright. Care for your tribe. As their leader, your villagers look to you for guidance. Villagers Makes will sense. automatically start building when they join you. Oh, Each member okay. of the tribe has their own traits strengths and weaknesses that's cool it's up to you to decide what work they're best suited that's actually really cool or and how they can best support the tribe 
Take Bjorn, for example, who prefers to work during daylight hours. Okay. So he may be better suited for farm work. Make sure that you're assigned to ten crops fuck, in the blazing fuck sun. Fuck Bjorn. No He's gonna work at night. He's gonna work all day and all night. I'm gonna work him to the bone. Is a night owl. <laughs> Long nights don't phase them, making them a good candidate for guard duty. As leader, you choose their patrol route to make sure the village is well defended. Makes sense. You know, this game looks very interesting. And for a survival building craft like type game, I think that I think this has a lot of potential and I'm actually definitely kind of a bit hyped for it so far from what I've seen. The lands of Asuka Ooh. are wild and the will of the, the mobs look difficult. so cool, dude. Look at this guy. Hold on. Hold on. The lands He's coming of up. Are wild not not this guy. Look at this dude, dude. He's huge, man. He's a big purple man. I like him. He's cool. Oh shit! Your whole village can get attacked. Oh my god, they're huge. Be reduced to dust. Oh shit, bro! They tear down your village. No, that's really sad. All your hard work. Will not welcome you into the afterlife. What? Why? You fell in battle. Instead, death grants the difficult choice of either being reborn in a weakened body or to be revived with full strength by sacrificing a valued member of your tribe. Oh, fuck. That is a hard decision. That's that's kind of like Cult of the Lamb right there because you can do you can do the same thing in Cult of the Lamb where you can sacrifice a villager for uh, a, a, an extra life. I would probably go with the weaker condition reviving with a weaker condition because your villagers are probably v invaluable to be honest in this game by the look to of it overcome the greatest challenges you'll need to advance buildings and techniques Dude, the buildings look great to protect your villagers oh you can train an army too nice to <gasps> doggo to use for protection <gasps> or for you, you can get doggos i'm sold <laughs> you can get doggos yeah i mean like so far, this game looks great. The world of Aska is filled with godlike promise and menace. Alone. Although I'm definitely going to wait a couple weeks, like I do with most modern games, because we all know how modern gaming is. But uh, yeah, this is a game I'm going to check out. I'm You're actually to fail. decently Together excited for it. Tribe, I'm glad that I found this, because I love these types of games. God set in your path and forge ahead to uncover the secrets of these untamed lands. Now this actually looks really fun. Oh. Oh, shit. Big dinosaur lizard thing underground. God damn, that's a creepy monster. But yeah, no, I I think I think this is going to be a decent game. I want to see that thing God again. Set in your path and forge ahead to uncover the secrets of these untamed lands. Okay, so you can do mining. Oh, look at that thing. That's creepy as fuck, dude. I, I you know what? I th I think Ask is going to be a good game. It's coming to Steam on the 20th of June, 2024. I uh, judging by the trailer, I don't think there's much wrong with it. But it is a trailer. It is early access. We'll have to see how it goes. We'll see how it how it turns out. Uh, definitely not getting it first two weeks, but we'll definitely wish list it and uh, see see how it turns out and see if it's gonna be a good game and maybe I'll get it because it honestly looks pretty decent. Anyways, that's it for this reaction. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to see more reactions to uh, video games and stuff, then don't forget to leave a like down below or subscribe because it helps a lot. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye.